What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Good morning everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming. I am Aaron and today we're going to be talking about Eternal Evolution. And we're going to be talking about one of the new characters, Daniel. I'm going to show you what he can do and how to build him to get the most out of him. Really pump out that damage because Daniel can hit like an absolute truck. First of all, again though, if you guys aren't already playing Eternal Evolution, cannot recommend it highly enough. Two links in the comments section down below. One for Bluestack so you can play it on a PC or Mac, that way you're not killing your phone battery. And then the other link will be for any phone, that way you guys can jump in, join in the fun with me. So recently here in uh, around the Christmas time, we've had a couple of events and one of them, there we go, is for good old Daniel here. Daniel is a Terran summoner. Uh, as I said, he can hit like an absolute truck. So I did a little bit of gear testing against the loot pinata. I tried to keep it as regulated as possible. So I had initially I had one piece of uh, legendary and two piece of mythic gear on the uh, on the here we go the head, the uh, hands, and the feet. So I kept it that way through my entire testing. And uh, it's the good news is Daniel can be a little bit flexible. So in full attack gear with the hero sets, as you see him pictured, he had 13.5 million. If I put him in the gluttonous set with a two-piece attack set, he came out to 13.3 million. So only 0.2 million difference there. You're going to get some variation, right? Because you're still a random number generated game and combat system. So you're going to have a little bit of flexibility there. Uh, and almost equal. So the good news is there he's a little bit flexible as far as full attack or gluttonous. So if you have more of one than the other, Daniel's going to operate really well in both. Uh, I did throw him in crit rate, crit damaged gear also. He only came out to 11.5 million. So 0.2 million, uh, I'm going to call a wash and could go either way. 2 million off. He's not, I'm going to go ahead and just straight up say he's not as strong in the critical damage and critical rate gear. Uh, especially because you got to put him still with attack primaries on a lot of uh, that crit rate, crit damage gear too. Because as you see here of his skills, a lot of them are getting uh, a tan a Daniel's attack and defense. And a lot is based off of his attack rating. There you go. Attack and defense, HP and 1300% of his attack. So... He is going to get some stats to everybody, all the summons, uh, based off his defense and stuff too. But I still think attack is the way to go because, as I said, I ran the numbers and it is the most damage he can pump out. And he does really, really, really help your summons team. I'll go ahead and just show you on the loot pinata what he can get done and how he can boost the summoner squad. So let's move my face real quick so everybody can see exactly what's going on. So I have my uh, my summoner, my triple S mythic commander down here. And let's just go ahead and throw in the summoners just so you can see how he boosts them and what kind of damage he can pump out. So we do have, make sure when you're checking your commander, come on, uh, you do check that uh, what these passives are because he is giving more damage to the back row. So we want to make sure our two biggest hitters, which would be Senway and Daniel, are in the back row. And let's just uh, throw them in. Don't need a healer. But we can look at some of the numbers and what he can churn out because my Senway is completely evolved. I cannot evolve him anymore after that awesome Rise of Heroes event and some of the other summons. Uh, my Muka is also immortal, uh, so he's pretty strong. But Daniel, as you can see, Daniel jumps out to a huge lead right away. Sinway will start to catch him once he gets his shadow up and running and pass him because, like I said, he is fully evolved. Um, and if this were a multiple target boss, Sinway would definitely pull ahead because he has a lot of AoE. But you can see, 30 seconds into the fight, Daniel is still on top of Senway. And I don't know, I didn't actually run this before with the full crew when I was doing my testing. He might... Daniel might pull it out. Senway... Okay, there we go. Senway caught him. I was like, that's... That's significantly longer. For 45 seconds, Daniel held the top spot. And he's doing... He's still... Double. He's still double an Immortal Mooka. 
And granted, my Daniel is uh, is getting up there into the legendary realm uh, thanks to pulling a ton of shards and getting, I don't know, not great luck, but not terrible either. And the Christmas event where you got a free copy. I got a free copy off the spinner, which was awesome. But as you can see here, Senway hits very, very hard. And Daniel is staying right with him. 14.1 million to 12.9 million. Wow, Scooter and Hattie actually died. Scooter, Scooter, Scooter and Hattie uh, actually died. But there you go, 31 off a full summoner crew. And Kalaza and, you know, Scooter and Hattie are, uh, are nowhere near the strength of some of those other guys. But, I mean, he just, they can absolutely pump out some damage. Here, I'll throw in, like, some of my best real quick. So let's take out these guys. We'll leave Daniel and Senway. Uh, and then let's go ahead and throw in Taylor. We'll throw in Emma. And uh, I don't know, just for fun. Who do we want to throw in? Uh, let's just throw in Randall, I guess. Let's change our commander to single hit. Uh, we don't have any vanguards. Here we go. Middle. Okay, we'll give, we'll give middle row a boost there. And then, yeah, this is still on 310. Okay, so here we go. Let's just throw this in there, just so you guys have a comparison. And then I'll even go back and show the summoners. Because this full, a real full damage lineup, what I would probably call it. We'll fast forward here. Is only going to get 32. Almost 33. So, we're talking a full Immortal and Legendary Hunter Crew single target. Is only putting out one more box than a summoner crew <laughs> that has a still elite Skur and Hattie. <clears throat> and uh I mean Kalaza's mythic, but he's not he's not knocking anybody's socks off. So even as a legendary, he can really pump up your uh, summon crew and pump out the damage. As you can see here, I mean Muka Muka's two into the immortal. And Daniel is one in Legendary. And Daniel did way more damage than Muka. So, Daniel is a really strong champion. Build him with attack rated gear. But you can also throw in Gluttonous to free up some of your attack gear for other characters that may not be quite as flexible. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this video helped. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel so you're not missing upcoming content on Eternal Evolution and other games. Give me a big thumbs up if you can, and as always, guys, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.